You did well in our last match, but I think your luck may be about to run out. So do you want to play again? Nope. If you're ever looking for a match and you get tired of posturing in the upper cantina, just come down here and find me. I'll play you anytime. My net proceeds were negative 40 credits. Now we shoot him. Be you a lass or be you a gent. The last time we played, we were playing Space Quint. Is that right? That's where I want to go. Nope. About face. There we go. This direction. I'm happy to get back into this game. I was really enjoying it and we started it yesterday and that's when the power went out. The fence looks really nice now that it's finished. I was beginning to doubt whether or not it was worth it when they were pulling it all together, but now that it's pulled together, it looks it looks good. No problem. Didn't work. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Security see. papers. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, Me too, GMBYBY. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. I dare say, like, with all the patching that needs to be done, whether you like the story or not, whether you like the story or like the game or like the mechanics, I dare say with all the patching and fixes that need to be made that I'm probably enjoying playing this RPG there, more than I would be worlder. enjoying Cyberpunk. Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake well, us Oh, okay, down. I've got no legs. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Uh, who are you and what are you doing in the we Undercity? We are the outcast, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here this in the This voice does not match this face. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Oh. Here's 20 credits. <laughs> credits, my brother. We have credits. Now I've had enough conflict in my real life. Medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. Medicine. I'm sure you Medicine. are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is Food. here to give people a bad first impression. Uh, you know what's funny is that like GMBYBR, there's enough stress and tension and potential negativity out around me right now that I'm just like, yeah, you know what? It might be light side today. I'm Boof Montoya. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, <laughs> Space. I've never seen it. I was born Space here in the meth. Undercity. Is it as nice as they say? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Uh, it's nothing special. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here, and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe like Booth right. Montoya. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Who's Rukil? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. 
He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Uh, what is the Promised Land? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. <sighs> I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Might do. Where can I find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. You'll probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. Where do I find Gendar? He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. I actually have managed not to play any Pazak yet. You know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Alright, let's get away from the grass. It's fucking up our legs. I've never played this game before, Powder Toast Man. This is this is new to me. What is this? Oh. Fake cave. Hester. If I I'm, I'm probably gonna wait to level up once or twice more before I get a chance. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. Uh oh. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! I'm gonna say Open that there's the some gate. textures not loading Quickly. in. Quickly! There isn't much time! I... I can't! The raccoons are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the raccoons are so near. Open the gates, I'll kill the raccoons. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. Wouldn't be I'll a 2000 something you, PC you game without buggy quick. textures. In a few seconds, I must I've also close modded the, the shit again. out of this. Well, we're gonna trust that we have a rough idea of what's going on. Okay, here we go. Um. All right, this piece of this piece of shit right here, huh? Uh, two to five, four to thirteen probably feels like that's gonna be our best bet. I think I can two hand, I just two hand that. So let's uh, right. Oh, so you get rid of this, get rid of this. Now it's just critical strike time. No, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of that. Critical strike time over and over and over again. That's fine. Whatever. Whoops, not dis- no, no, not disengage. Beat the shit out of this thing. Come on! My guy! I heard, I bet. This thing's- This thing's deadly from behind! What? This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Yes? I hope I didn't need to talk to that guy. Uh... Judge Arcadia, tier 1, 25 months. Judge Arcadia, thank you so much. And JJ Madison, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, Judge Arcadia, thanks for coming back. Oh, we didn't save the guy. No! Hindar, no! 
A horrible fate for poor Hendar. I warned him not to leave the safety of the village, but I couldn't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls were so close. I had to protect the village. I but tried. for this grim talk. We must focus on the positive if we're to survive down here. How can I help you, Upworlder? <laughs> I'm gonna ask some questions. I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. Sorry, Hindar. Who are you? I'm Trellin, from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the Rat Ghouls. Goodbye, Upworlder. Oh, wait. Now, you know what? Let's finish investigating the village. Let's go talk to Ice Gear. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the Upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Oh, Jesus. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw it's him. It's gonna be a recurring theme down here. here. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Let me see your inventory. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Uh, okay, so let's see. Oh, I bought an antidote kit. I didn't mean to, but here we are. Retinal combat implant. Yeah, I'll take that. Wait, that's a shitload. Yeah, whatever, I'll take it. Pause that cards. Ooh. Huh. I mean, don't mind if I do. Otherwise, everything else is just kind of there. Uh, what could I sell? I feel like I've, I've sold just about everything I don't need right now. So let's go in... There we go. What do you got going on up here? You don't have anything, huh? Cannot equip this. You do not have the prerequisite. See the item description. Oh, that's a bummer. Damn. There's like gear that we keep losing ourselves behind. What's going on here? Hey there, Upworlder. You want to see what I got for sale in my inventory? Or do you need something else? Questions. I guess. Oh, you better ask Gendar. Well, don't He's stop me next time. I already bought something expensive from you. Store. You're the richest man in the mad sewer. Don't make any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. Well, that makes two of us. Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the Upworlders. Why should they get anything? Um, I agree. Your store, your profits. <laughs> exactly my point. But Kendar doesn't see it that way. He caught me hoarding Fucking supplies space socialism. a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce, and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, okay. You'll come back and see me if you want a deal. I just like that everyone here speaks English. I feel that way about parts of Europe. Oh, I can't jump. Pause. pause. Uh, space bar is pause. Gendar. My dude. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. 
Tell us. We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village, as my father was and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Uh, tell me about the rat ghoul. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, Rainy. and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Oh shit, you're in your new place? Ask questions. Your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Vow. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, Twi though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast. Oh, you're village, back from your new place, not you're back in chat from your new place. Dangerous upward. You're back in your if old you place. You dare to travel those place. dark tunnels. You would be wise to go heavily gotcha. armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. I'm good. I just need a big stretch. Uh, uh, more questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Um. You said something about yeah. You said something about upworlders who came by here Our recently. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Um. Yeah, let's As go ahead and wish, go. Upworlder, should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. No, we're kind of gray. The entire village, we're and I will kind of right down the middle right now. You, however, I can. Rukul. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder, I beg you. You're obviously oh, insane. yes, but not insane. Oh, no, not insane at all. I am as rational as any man can be after a hundred years in the filth and darkness of the Undercity. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. I am Boof Montoya. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. What is the true path? No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Uh, probably. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. Go on. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Her name is Updog. What will you give me? Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I wish you luck, Upworld. I'll do it. 
Come speak I'm a to sucker me again for side once quests. you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. <laughs> What's up, dog? Nothing much. What's up with you? What was the thing that they said Ninja was dying from? What was that stupid joke that was going around for a while? Sorry, chat. I didn't get the best sleep last night. Ligma. That's that's it. her. Her name is Ligma. <laughs> My apprentice's name is Ligma. Please, find Ligma. Wait, Upwelder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Come again? Who are you? I am Isala, healer of this village. I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Uh, I need healing. Nice. Back again. Is there something else you need? Questions. If you have questions, you should speak to Gendar. Guys He's are like the broken records. Village. All my attention Yo, has to stay focused on trying to ease the suffering of those within the village. But despite my medical training, there is was... nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. What are you talking about? The villagers about? infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rukguls, we'll let them destroy each other. Um, TLDR Sidewinder. The fence guys severed a power line, an underground power line. None of my fence guys are wearing masks. Which is fine, except when they talk to me. Um, my neighbor got pissed and tried, he got, my, my neighbor got so pissed at them for killing the power that he tried to throw them off my property and throw them off my job. He he literally ba like said like I don't care if you're working for the Capses, I want you out of here. And they were like we're not on your property and we're not working for you, so no. And then the Dominion power guys didn't get here until late into the night. And then the neighbor went to, the, my neighbor grabbed a flashlight and walked around the block and went to the Dominion Power van that was parked in front of my house and knocked on their window and said, are you guys here for the outage? And they said, yes. And he said, do this you... This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. And he said, do you need any help getting started? Because he was just insinuating, why are you sitting in your truck and not fixing my power? And then, uh... There was some, uh indiscernible chatter where I'm basically assuming that he, he stated oh well I need power be, for work and heat and I was, in my head I was like well that's everybody so Evan comes in tier 1 69 months nice nice can I get a can I get a couple of uh, lucid nices or can I get a couple of uh, taffy shores I feel like those anything that you feel like will fit that, that direction cool cats will do nice Evan! I miss you, man. I feel like I haven't seen you in a million years. We weren't young when we first physically met each other in Southern California. I feel like the next time we see each other, we'll have aged 30 years each. We're gonna be like a... Uh, uh, <laughs> fucking grumpier old men. Thank you so much, man, for having my having my back and having us subbed up since the first first month you could, and keeping that sub active when Amber was sick. I appreciate the living shit out of you, sir. Anyway, so that, that's that that was it. the The Dominion Power guys, there were six of them. They didn't wear masks. They formed like a half circle around me when I came out to let them know what had happened, and got like closer and closer as we talked. And it was nighttime, and it was cold, so I could see their breath, and I was watching their breath like waft in front of my face. It was a fucking nightmare, man. All right, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta do this thing, thing a ding ding. I'm going through those gates to try to help the infected ones. I can't ones. stop you from going through the gates, Upwelder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into Rutgalls, you'll be walking into your grave. All right.
Oh, that's the elevators. That's where we came in. Loving an elevator. Living up where I'm going down. In the air! In the air! That's, that's, that's as much Steven Tyler as I can do without either thoroughly embarrassing uh -huh. myself yes. or, like, actually physically hurting my voice. The sub alert, what's that from? Uh, that is the narrator from the Stanley Parable. Please, help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment, we could... Uh, no! This cannot be... No! <laughs> Well, you can't say they didn't warn us. Tried to get you to do the thing. Uh-huh. That hurt a bit. Oh, he did. Doing great, champ. What? Wait, why am I wasting stuff? Here. Back again. Heal me. Back again. Oh, you don't have like stock to sell me. I gotta go back to that weird gullamy sounding dude. Well, yeah, they okay. Please. Please, you have to help us. We beg you. This is a trap. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. Who are you? Why are you locked? Oh, uh, let's see. Get away from me, you diseased mongrels. I'm here to help. You, you'll help us? Oh, bless you, Upworlder. Bless you. But you must hurry. We have the rat ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. Soon it will be too late for us, and we will transform into those horrible rat ghouls ourselves. I think I'll kill you so you don't infect Please anyone else. Hurry, Upworlder. Oh no, we never mind. I went with a nice option. The transformation. Don't forget about us, Upworlder. If you find any way to cure this disease, please come back and help us. What about you? Do you want do you, saved? Do you have the cure, Upworlder? Have you come to save us from the horrible fate of the others? I'll be back when I find a cure Please for you. Please hurry, Upworlder. We don't have much time until the transformation. Don't forget about us, Upworlder. If you find any way to cure us of this disease, please come back and help us. All right, well. Where did Gendar say we could get into the... Welcome back, up. What? Uh, let's see. Questions? Um... The rat, we know. Rat ghoul. More questions. How do I get into the sewer? Ah, uh, whatever. I'll find it. A little glitchy through here. Probably this one. We. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. I'm sorry, all but these boxes didn't load in. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Your mission, Val, right? Gaden Thex said you could help Gaden? me. Gaden. What? That's what I said. I don't know what you're talking about. Please, Zalbar's in trouble. He needs our help or they're gonna sell him into slavery. The Wookiee friend? Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. 
You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rack ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. Um... If I help you get Zalbar back, you have to help me get inside the Volker base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalbar before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Mission has joined your party. What's up, dog? Yeah? I'll just auto-level her up. I don't have any what? like weird min maxi things that I plan on doing. Oh shit. I have no idea. You there? Yes. Civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Grenading. Oh. I just want to see how long you'll walk. Oh. Look, I've got all the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? I should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Oh, uh, let's see. You're annoying me. Time to die. You said you've lost one patrol already? Here, search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Damn, Jay, sorry to hear that, man. Hope you find your cap. Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out! Where are we going? What is this? Oh, like rubble. Rubble, rubble, rubble. What is this? Holy shit. I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say no you're legs. down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Are you threatening me? Mandalorians don't make threats. We make promises. 
But I'm just trying to give you a friendly warning. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Um, You just gotta run back to the surface like a coward? Normally, I'd make you regret those words. But I'm not wasting another minute down here. I'm responsible for this whole company, and they won't survive down here much longer. Come on, boys, let's move out. Yeah, the grass doesn't have transparency. I'm gonna guess this is probably as a result of uh, one of the mods that I threw on. So yeah, the grass doesn't have transparency, which means I'm losing legs down here. What's her, what's her equipment look like? Whoops. Uh, Jay, what was the hotkey for this? Oh, I can't arm that on her. That sucks. I don't have anything I can put on her. Well, I guess I can give her better armor. What sucks is that none of this stuff seems sure. to want to be looted either. The rat ghoul have very little to offer me. She'll be fine. She she's gonna bleed a little bit. It's gonna be all right. In retrospect, I probably should have come in here with more uh, antidotes. Hey. What? Go ahead and stop dying. Sure. There we go. Why is there a mine right there? Alright, well, I guess we'll leave that alone. Yeah, this area didn't load in for shit. How did I see it? I didn't. The game said, hey... Pay attention to this mine over here. 
so I so I did, but that was that's literally as far as that went. I was saying earlier that like, you know, I I'm, I'm I'm not shitting on the game for the sake of shitting on the game, but I am saying that with all the patching and controversy surrounding um I, I want to see the rest of the outside world here. With all the controversy and whatnot that's surrounding Cyberpunk right now, I'm actually feeling like I, I will probably Oops. I don't know, man. I'll I'll probably um Enjoy playing this m more. Um, skill too low. Fine. I'll probably enjoy playing this more than I would be enjoying playing Cyberpunk right now. Help me. Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing like some kind of hideous disease. Don't forget, different characters have different stats and ability. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. I want to, uh, do you happen to know off the top of your head which skill uh, reflects uh, on on mind disarming? I'll help you, but I need some information first. No, no, I can see that. Trust me, he's a rat ghoul now. <laughs> Yes? It says perception. Okay. Let's see. Uh huh. Um. Where does one find perception? Well, it's not not him then. Yeah. Maybe she can undo him. Voondaba. That makes sense that they would give me somebody yes. who could deal with this. There is a demo skill, yep. <clears throat> there is absolutely a demo skill. Yeah, demo for mind recovery. Higher awareness is what makes them appear in the blinking circle. That makes sense. All right, now we thankfully get our legs back. Yeah. Sure. Because no grass out here. Uh, let's. Yo, feel free to help out, guys! Don't expect me to mourn for you when they uh, get you, get you clap your cheeks and give and give you the the poison goop. Nate, what's going on, brother? How the heck are you, sir? I should have come down here with a. Uh, I should have come down here with way more antidotes. I'm feeling a little silly about that right now. The fuck is a gore? I don't know. I just got a dance. There we go. Oh shit, that's what those are called, huh? I never knew that. Yeah, the 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 pig dude that uh the 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 job of the huts. Uh excuse. 
The pig dude that Jabba the Hutt's uh, pet eats. Okay, well, that could have gone better, not gonna lie. We added over 39,000 more songs. Not gonna lie, man. Uh, sure. I'm looking forward, I'm finally to a point where I feel like I'm looking forward to the end of Hades. Not because I want Hades to be done, but be okay. Not because I want Hades to be done, but because I and a handful of other viewers just miss listening to Pretzel while we play Isaac. Like literally, Pretzel is the selling port for why chat wants to get back to Isaac. Me too, frankly. Yeah, the pig dude that Luke force chokes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um... I need more. I, I, I gotta buy more, more parts. thing doesn't like follow me around does it that'd be awesome I need a shitload more parts to make it like mobile for us oh Christ on a cracker run I would have listened to me and come over here to the rusted droid. <laughs> the NY Post reporter that did the story about the e the story. Oh no. The story about the EMT with the only fan got doxxed. And yeah, you know what? I feel absolutely nothing for him. Huh? I feel absolutely nothing. Bummer. Sucks to have somebody make uh sucks to have somebody make a a, a fucking circus sideshow out of your life. Oh god damn. Why do I keep Y'all gonna wanna fall back? You know what? That's fine. You and me, robot. You and me are gonna handle them together. Yeah. My friends are not the brightest bulbs in the box. Just shoot him in the face. Get me, coward, you won't. heals in the not so distant future either or also hell ah, this is not great hello do I feel bad that I phased do I feel bad that I phased that uh, grenade through the wall to kill that thing? Not even a little bit. Ready. Whoops. Shit. Uh. I don't know. These seem to be the things that he's good at. Oh, it only gets the one point, huh? Okay, well, there you go. Feats. This is blaster additional damage. 
blaster rifles, heavy weapons. What is this? Extra points of vitality. One-handed weapons. Add feet. We'll do that. Yoo-hoo, what's going on, man? We appear to all be injured. Sure. Yeah? Sure. Yeah? There we go. What? Yes? Hmm. Look at this. This is one of those old-style manual locks. No computer code to nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security. The next round of pi box. pins but that I want to get done. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. Got designed like a year ago. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. These would be the next rounds. Those got designed this time last year, and I just never got them made because all of a sudden cons stop happening. Good to meet you, Z. Yeah, I love them. They're, they're gonna be awesome. If and when they get made. Yeah, life debts are good. I like life debts. Life debt. A life debt? You sure about that, Big Thing? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. Very chatty, this Wookie. I mean, guess it means I got a walking carpet following me for the rest of my days. Hey, don't make fun of the life debt. This is serious business, you know. A life debt is the most solid Sound battle funny. Wookie can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. Uh, forever after, I will be by your side, Booth Montoya. I, I would be honored. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not going to happen again. Glad to have you aboard. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Volca base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a backdoor into that scum den. The sooner we get there, the better. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Yeah, two minutes Over is good. to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. Uh, nobody said anything about a Rancor there monster. There used to be a Rancor monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. It pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. Luckily, Rancors aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. I ain't afraid of no rancor. Okay then, off we go. Well, like I said, somewhere to the southeast. We Just should loot a lot more shield, healing. And we'll know we're there. Zalbar has joined your party. You can only have two party members at any time. The others will wait for you back at the apartment. 
You can switch the party members using, using the party selection screen. Yep, left click this response. Yep. We'll send him scout soldier scoundrel. Okay. There we go. And now Zalbar has leveled up. Auto level. Thank you very much. Close. Oh, no, no, no. Yes? Oh, did I send old what's-his-name back? Well, that's fine. I thought Wookiees were supposed to be badass fighters. Come on. Excuse? Am I hitting the wrong buttons? Oh, I, I'm stuck on the Wookiee. No problem. Got it. Yo! Congratulations, D. I don't want to auto level. I would like to. Um. I. Yeah. No. Wait. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna. I I want that. I like. I want droids following me. I want. I want sentry turrets. I want all sorts of good stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna run repair through the roof. Hey, Big Z, we gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorrean slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? They didn't. I wasn't their guest mission. I was a prisoner. They didn't much care what happened to me. Damn, that is insensitive of her. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. I didn't manage to take a chunk out of the arm of the guard that wandered too close to my cage, but it tasted awful, so I spit it out. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Good morning, smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. <laughs> Wookiees don't brush their teeth. Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. 